On the 12th of January this year, the Supreme Court ruled that former President Maithri Pala Sirisena, former Defence Secretary Hemasiri Fernando, former IGP Pujit Jasundara, former National Intelligence Chief Sisra Mendis and former State Intelligence Chief Nilanta Jayavardhana had violated the fundamental rights of the people by failing to take action to prevent the Easter Sunday attacks on the 21st of April 2019, despite receiving sufficient intelligence information. After considering a fundamental rights petition filed by Archbishop of Colombo, His Eminence Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit, the Supreme Court in January this year ordered the former President Sirisena to pay 100 million rupees in compensation to the victims from his personal money, while Pujit Jayasundara and Nilanta Jayavardhana were each ordered to pay 75 million rupees. In addition, Hemasir Fernando and Cesar Mendes were ordered to pay 50 million rupees and 10 million rupees respectively. So far, the former president has settled 15 million rupees. Later in July, filing a motion to the Supreme Court, the former president requested a 10-year period to settle the remaining amount. Meanwhile, former IGP Pooji Jasundara has settled 1.72 million rupees, while former State Intelligence Chief Senior DIG Nilanth Jayavardhana has so far settled 4.1 million rupees. Former Defence Secretary Hemasiri Fernando has settled 2 million, while former National Intelligence Chief Sisra Mendis has settled the full amount of 10 million rupees he was ordered to pay in compensation. The case was once again taken up for hearing this morning at the Supreme Court before a seven-member judge bench. Appearing on behalf of the Cardinal, President's Counsel Shamil Peras said, granting a 10-year period to former President Maitri Pal Sirisena to settle his outstanding amount of compensation will be a bad precedent as other defendants too will request the same. He added that as a result, the victims of the attack will not be able to receive the compensation on time. However, President's Counsel Faisal Mustafa, who appeared on behalf of the former president, said his client had already settled 15 million rupees out of the 100 million rupee compensation he was ordered to pay. Hence, Mustafa was of the view that his client cannot be accused of contempt of court since a 10-year period was requested to settle the remaining compensation. Meanwhile, the attorney for former State Intelligence Service Chief Senior DIG Nilanta Jawardhana, President's Counsel Chandak Jasundar said the total assets of his client include 21 million rupees earned as salary income throughout his police service and 4.1 million Canadian dollars during his service at the Canadian High Commission in Colombo. Jasundar said 298 petitions have been filed against him, claiming over 2 billion rupees as damages, a huge amount which his client is unable to settle. Highlighting that his client has no intention of evading the Supreme Court, President's Counsel Chandaka Jayasundara said Senior DIG Nilanta Jayavaradana cannot be charged with contempt of court. The attorney representing on behalf of former IJP Pooji Jayasundara, Shyamal Kolure, said his client is a retired civil servant and is unable to settle such a huge amount. Representing the Bar Association of Sri Lanka, President's Counsel Sanjeeva Jayavaradana said it is a detrimental situation if someone evades a Supreme Court order. However, the Supreme Court judgment said there is no sufficient evidence to charge the defendants with contempt of court. Considering the facts presented, the seven-member judgment ordered the defendants, including former President Maitri Pala Sirisena, to submit their reports on assets and liabilities to the Supreme Court before the 30th of December. The judgment ordered the defendants to specifically include the assets and liabilities from 19th of April 2019 to date in the report that needs to be submitted to the court. While ordering a detailed report on how the defendants have settled the compensation so far, the court granted them time to settle the remaining amount of the compensation until 30th of June next year. The court further ordered that former National Intelligence Chief Sisra Mendes, who is named as a respondent in the petitions, to be released from the case since he has settled his full amount of compensation. The petitions related to the progress of the case will be reconvened again on the 15th of July next year.